Hey friends, Jim and Steve Brady here today talking to you about slip and fall accidents. They can happen in a number of places. Public places such as shopping malls, grocery stores, restaurants, parking lots, sidewalks, and government buildings, as well as private residence. Uh, some common causes of slip and fall accidents include wet or slippery surfaces from spills, leaks, rain, snow, or ice, cracked or damaged floors, uneven surfaces, loose tiles or holes in floors and surfaces. Sometimes inadequate lighting in dimly lit areas can make it difficult for people to see potential hazards on the ground or the sidewalk. And also objects left in walkways and aisles can lead to accidents as well. Stairs or ramps without handrails or other safety measures could also cause slip and falls. When a slip and fall accident occurs, Steve, the injured party can be entitled to receive compensation for their injuries. That's when you want to call us. This often involves filing a personal injury claim against the property owner or the occupier of the property. To do this, the injured party generally needs to demonstrate that, number one, there was a dangerous condition on the property that the owner knew or should have known of. Secondly, the owner failed to take reasonable steps to address or warn about that hazard. And third, the hazard, uh, the condition was directly led to the slip and fall accident and the injuries that resulted from that slip and fall. Folks, this office has handled hundreds of slip and fall injuries. Uh, if, if you're in that position, please call us at 508-660-8888. It's 508-660-8888. We can find on the web at BradyLaw1.com. www.BradyLaw1.com. Brady Law. People helping people.